Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today welcome to the first video of 2021. I know I haven't posted in like a few days, but it's because I've been studying a lot for an interview and also I'm not currently at home. So it's been pretty tough, but in the next couple of days, I'll be back on track and be making a lot more tutorials because I'm really excited for what this year has to bring and I'm really excited to make the tutorial for you guys. So today I decided to bring a video that I hadn't thought before, but I honestly think it will be very valuable, which is basically I'm going to be talking about my favorite and uh, my top five favorite Chrome developer extensions and each of these extensions I've been using for for like a long time now and I'll like it will definitely help you if you've ever heard of them before also some of those extensions have some replacements so if you know any replacements like any alternatives to the extensions I mentioned here please leave a comment down below letting me know because I want to check them out so let's get into the first extension so the first extension is actually my favorite one so i don't want to waste any time of you guys so if you're interested this is actually my favorite extension it is called weaponizer i guess this is how you you say how you say it but basically it is really awesome uh, it allows you to see all the technologies that are that exists on, like be, uh, at the core of any web application so like for example if i were to come to youtube right and actually i'll go to let me think um what website can I go? I'll go to LinkedIn. If you want to check me out on LinkedIn, this is this is my LinkedIn. But yeah, um, if I clicked on Webalizer, you can see I have the extension right here. If I click on this, it will show all the different frameworks, all the different languages used to make the website. In this case, it doesn't show a lot of them because obviously um, it is not perfect, but it is really awesome. You can see a lot of stuff. If I came here, I'll actually go to my to my own website. So let me come over here if you want to check it out. Let me see if it is correct. This is my old website. It's still my website. I, I still need to redo it. But basically, if I click over here, you can see that I used, um, I didn't use jQuery. I don't know why. Yeah, it's 50% sure I used jQuery, jQuery, which goes to say it's not perfect. But I did use Netlify. I did use um, the Google Font API, the Font Awesome uh, font scripts. I also used React, which it's not showing here, but sometimes it shows like everything correct, sometimes it doesn't. But it's really cool because if you go here to LeetCode, for example, you can go to any like every website, and you can see that LeetCode has like 30 different technologies and frameworks that it can show, right? And if you want to get an inspiration for what for for like which text tech you want to use, then definitely like check it out. Check a website that you like and see what they use. You can see that apparently LeetCode used um, some React and some Angular. Um, weird combination right and ent as well which is really cool you can see a bunch of stuff that they used and it's definitely my favorite library I used it in every single new website that I click on like I just want to check it out what tech stack they're using and I'm really interested in this kind of stuff so that's why I really like this extension so now let's go to the next one so this next one is actually really famous already so I think most of you guys already probably have this. It's called Colorzilla, and there's also a lot of alternatives to this one. If you know any, please leave a comment down below. But it is literally one of the best extensions if you are doing some web development or web design because you're able to have a color picker on every single website. So, like, if I'm here on lit code and I want to click on this right here, right? I want to click on this is my extension, right? I can click on a color picker and it just allowed me to like go over every single color. And for example, if I want to grab this kind of orange yellow right here, I can click on this and now it just copied to my clipboard the hexadecimal value for that color, right? So it's really awesome. I use it all the time. They have a bunch of other options like you can generate a CSS gradient, which Everyone who, who codes, like who uses CSS knows that it's kind of annoying to do it on your own. So basically they can do a bunch of stuff for you. It's really great in my opinion. So yeah, definitely check out Colorzilla and if you have any alternatives, let me know. So this is a third extension. And again, uh, like together with Colorzilla, this is also really famous. I don't know if this extension in particular is really famous, but like extensions that, you, that try to like tell you which font a website has like which font a text in a website is using um, are really common so what font is definitely the one I, I chose because I, I it's the one I chose a long time ago I have it here I think it's this one yeah and what it does is basically imagine I'm here at Lico right and I click on this now it's I'm basically using uh, what font in my whole page and I can just hover over any kind of font and it will tell me um, I don't know if it's apparently not working with Oh, it worked over here as you can see, right? 
it works on some of them and some like in others it doesn't but you can click on it and it will give you like all the different um, aspects of it for example let me try to go actually I'll go to mine so my website again right if I click on what font again it yeah it gave me the correct like this is the actual font I used in my website right um, it just gives you like a bunch of different information you can click on it it will give you the weight the line weight um, I guess I used the same font yeah it doesn't work 100% of the time but it do, it works most of the time um, this is what I like and if you know any alternatives I definitely would not know because um, as I mentioned what font doesn't work 100% of the time if there is anyone like any option which does I would really appreciate it but it's also really hard because there's a bunch of images in in like different websites so obviously it won't work on images it only works on uh, HTML tags so that's something that you should consider but it is a really awesome extension that I definitely recommend having or I definitely recommend having a similar extension if you are a developer and you're working with web design or any other field in the area so let's go to the next extension which is actually also one of my favorite ones okay guys so this is also this is definitely if you've if you've been coding if you've been a web developer for a bit now you definitely already have this you can see it has eleven thousand um upvotes or like rev reviews in the website there's over two million users using it it's called edit this cookie because if you've worked with cookie before which you you probably should if you're working with web development then you know how much of a hassle it is to work with them because um del like everything from deleting for example if you want to delete a cookie you can't directly delete a cookie you have to set its expiry date to be some time that already passed it's all like crazy so managing your cookies in an easy manner is something that is extremely important so you don't waste your time so with edit this cookie you can um, as you can see edit cookies delete cookies add new cookies create cookies which is the same thing in my opinion search for them you can do a bunch of stuff like I'm in the Chrome Web Store I can click over here and it will show me all my cookies that I currently have I can like click on one of them and just see like the values see the domain um, I can edit them I can change this I'm not gonna change any of them because they're apparently important for like what I'm using right now but if you like if you want an extension over here if, if, if there's an extension that is definitely gonna help you is this one because this one is like I, I it, before I, I use this extension I used to hate working with cookies but after using it it's just a lot easier so I definitely recommend downloading this and by the way all of my extensions will have a link in the description also the list the name for each one of them is also in the description so check it out so the last extension that I wanted to show to you guys is the JSON viewer so as I mentioned there are definitely alternatives to this and I really enjoyed this one like uh, the reason why I, I decided to include this in my top five is because it's just something so simple that we don't think before we find this extension that after we use it we realize how important it actually is and what it does is basically whenever you're working with any API or external APIs um, you definitely encountered a point where you reached an endpoint and it, like it showed a huge JSON right but the thing is that uh, usually you get really confused because it is super like boring <laughs> it's just some JSON displayed in your screen right and it has it, it doesn't have any color coding it doesn't have any like indentation all that kind of stuff so what JSON viewer does is it recognizes when you have JSON in your screen in your browser and it just uh, shows like it color codes for you it does like it beautifies it right so I'm gonna actually remove it from my Chrome right now and I'm gonna show you an, an API endpoint a random public API endpoint and how it looks after we add the extension so I'm gonna remove and now as you can see I'm here in uh, this random API which just shows um, cat facts <laughs> it's a random API you can see it's hosted in Heroku and this is a JSON right this is the JSON how normally it is displayed if you're working with public API's or with any API and it looks okay right it's what you probably are used to if you don't have a, an extension like JSON viewer but let me actually add to my Chrome again and you'll see what like how it looks now if I refresh my page it just installed you don't even need to do anything you don't need to, you don't even need to have it on your like your pinned tab you can just refresh your tab and you can see that now like literally it looks so much better this is the JSON now and they have some like options over here you could this is the raw version oh I could have just done it this way I didn't even know that if you clicked on raw you did it this way but we can click on this as well and you can like 
uh, choose the different styles you want all the kind of stuff but it's really awesome I actually I use default but there's a bunch of options you can use you can use the monokai which is a really famous um, like it, it's used in insomnia which is a uh, an API a tester which I don't know if you guys know but uh, it just it just reminds me of that but basically it is a really awesome extension and I definitely recommend you installing it so so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next. I've been posting every single day for like a couple months now and I'm so glad and happy like with how our channel has grown so far and I really appreciate the support of you guys. So um, I'll be back posting every single day in like a week or less. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you guys next time.